Hey everyone, it is Baron. Today we're going to be going over some more Starfield ships. This time we're looking at sizes, the jumps, uh, like the jump distance and whatnot. Now, I'm very interested in the way these ships are built. If you're enjoying the Starfield content as well, let me know because I'm going to be doing a lot more of this and, you know, switching myself between the two Starfield and Star Citizen. So let's get into it. As you can see at the top there, you've got ship systems balance. Par, L, less. If anyone knows what these mean, tell me. You've got shields, gravity, and en uh, engines. So I guess once you put more power to them, um, one will, you know, have more ability. Or if you put it to your engines, you'll be able to go faster. And some, you may even be able to jump further. Uh, they did explain it, but I haven't, you know, watched that in a little bit. So this is the Celestial 2. As you can see, it has 210 fuel. It has a 1,083 hull. So I'm going to say that is like its um, density of its actual hull. And then you've got the cargo capacity of 1,180. Now, if you've played Star Citizen, it would be something like um, SCU on a ship. And as you can see... If you have a look at the back where it says AFT and the um, 4, you can see it says 23 meters and width it's starboard here, it says 17 meters. Now I'm very interested to see how big these ships will be able to get because that's 17 meters and it looks like you can still go quite the far bit out. Now they did build a mech and that mech did look pretty big, but how big are these ships actually going to be able to get? Now I'm saying this because if you look at the light year jump on this drive, it says 27 light years. How much or how big can you build these ships and how far can they really get? You got a B reactor there, so I've seen a B and a C. I'm going to you know, guess that that's the grade of the reactor on it as well. Um, uh, it's Does that, like, the gravity, is that for, uh, the reactor, sorry, is that to create power and create, like, depending on if it's an A, does that mean it's larger, B, it's going to be a bit smaller, and C, and so forth. Now, you know, we're not going to, we don't really have too much to go off of here, but I've seen one that is, you know, the number next to it is less, so I'm going to guess it's less efficient, but it's an A reactor. So, some ships may have different, um abilities or just different um, things to them so you know they they all shine in their own different little ways uh, so you can see the shield there is 975 it holds a crew of six so you, I guess you need a crew of six people to do uh, use this ship it's got a mass of 864 now when I read the mass is that 864 tons what what does that mean in mass I'm just sort of trying to look at these because I'm interested in how these ships are going to be uh, calculated and sized compared to what they would be in Star Citizen. Now there's also, if you're interested, if you have a look on Google, you put, uh, you know, in Star Citizen we have astronomical units in systems. If you have a look at these, um, you can sort of put the comparison between light years and astronomical units of how big systems are and how far you have to jump. But again, remember you're jumping between systems as well. So that's where the jump drive would come in, I would assume. So you got uh, balance, you got par there, and you got last, so I'm gonna guess that's like your thrusters or some form of movement there, which will be very interesting to see. So moving on to the next ship, we got the Dragonfire 2. So as we can see, this is a little bit bigger. Uh, the length is a bit, little bit longer and it's a 25 meter width. So with this, you have 1550 fuel from the original 210 the other ship had. And you have a 1006 hull and 2790 of cargo capacity. Now, if you have a look at the ship systems, this doesn't have LAS. So I don't know exactly what that is, but it'll be very interesting to find out later on once we get the, um, you know, the game in our hands and we can see how these ships work. So this one can jump 26 light years, so it can actually jump less. So I'm going to guess, depending on like what you want your ship to do or what it's capable of, and if you put a bigger jump drive on it, obviously it's going to have a lot more jump capacity and distance. Now this has a C reactor on it, so I'm going to guess this one isn't less efficient. It doesn't produce as much power as the other one as well. Uh, your shields are 850, you got par 64, balance, oh, bow 92. And that, again, this is very interesting because this ship seems that the engines and the gravity... Um, sort of balance out to the a little bit different to, than the other ship, but again all these ships have their different um, 
pros and cons, I guess you could say. I can't think of the exact word. Uh, crew of seven. Um, so, you, you know, this, the size of these ships are going to be, you know, they're going to be pretty big. So, 1960, this is, I would consider this to be a, a medium ship. So, will we be able to build a capital ship and what would they be capable of? And will we be able to put lasers and rail guns, big rail guns on them? Because I want to do that and I want to build myself a Javelin or an Idris. So, moving on from the Dragonfire 2, we have now have a ship called the Marathon. And as you can see, the specs and the details on the ship drop dramatically. It looks like a pretty basic ship that is designed for cargo hold. Um, as you can see, 26 meters long, 12 meters wide. It doesn't look like it's advanced as the others. It has a 700 fuel capacity, 639 shields, uh, requires a crew of two people, has a reactor of uh, an A reactor with 23. Um, 15 light years, path 11, MSL 4, so it doesn't have bell anymore, it has MSL. So if any of you know what these mean, let me know. I'll probably have to Google it and check up with it. A uh, shield of 520 and a mass of 766, where the last ship had a mass of 1960. So with the weight of these ships, I'm going to say that the mass and everything will, you know, really matter, especially if you have cargo aboard, getting in and out of atmosphere, getting away from potential pirates or enemies and whatnot so this one just seems like it's not as efficient as the very first ship and has some drawbacks to it uh, but yeah it still looks like it's going to be quite a um, useful ship in some matter of a f like form I guess but we just have to see it also looks like it holds vehicles up the front there how it's got the ramp um, and yeah, you know, I've been thinking, do we have, will we have ground vehicles that we'll be able to build and make and do whatever we want with? That's one thing I've been thinking about. So moving on to the next one, this is just a shot of a ship that they're putting parts and components onto. As you can see, uh, they're putting on a landing bay on this, from what I can tell, I would say. Um, but again, this has a hull of 1,046, a shield of 1,600, and a cargo of 2,360. Max crew of six people, a jump range of 30 light years, a 28 mobility, a top speed of 130. So is that 130 MS like, um, like what you would see in Star Citizen and a mass of 2,030? Or is it, does it mean something else like uh, with your um, jump range or your jump speed or whatever it'd be very interesting to see you have a c27 reactor and you have a power equip of 30 so it looks definitely looks like these ships are going to have their own little um like abilities like one will be stronger in one part of like cargo hauling one may be stronger in combat but again you may be able to put a ship together that can you know, have a benefits of all of it, but mostly be drawn back on something else and have more of another thing. So you can have more cargo space, but you just, your combat ability is not as good. I don't know, but it seems like we are going, maybe going in that direction, but it may all depend on your creativity and what you want to do with this ship. So this next ship, I think this is the starter ship. As you can see, they're going through cannons and weapons. And as you can see, there is a 231 IR laser. It's very interesting. Um, you have a disruptor 3300 electron beam as well. That's 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 insane. Um, but they're, yeah, they're putting on an auto cannon on there. It has uh, a hull of 365, shield of 310, cargo 450, max crew of 2, 16 light year jump, 71 mobility, and a top speed of 150 with a mass of 359. So with these ships, it seems that, you know, if you put on a certain component, it's going to change the mass. It's going to change some form of ability on this ship. Um, it's telling you, you know, what's going to be better, what's not going to be as good, and whether or not these weapons are going to be as good as other weapons that you have on the ship. So it seems like it's compar comparing it to something that you've already got or something um, that you've already looked at. So maybe there could be some sort of weapon comparison there as well. So it's comparing components and ships together to see what is better and efficient for you. This one's 20 meters long and 11 meters wide. So it's just a little itty bitty ship. Uh, moving on to the next one, we can see here is 34 meters long and 21 meters wide. Has a B24 reactor. So I guess the efficiency on this is down um, and the size possibly. And the jump distance is 29 light years, has a shield of 730, crew of 5, a fuel capacity of 450, hull is 100, 846, sorry, and a cargo capacity of 340. So those tanks on the side could be some form of fuel uh, storage and the top part or something 
to do with science. So again, this ship possibly thrives in its own little way and does something particular that this person wanted it to do. It has a mass of 718. So again, it looks like a mid range ship that isn't going to be that heavy and the mass isn't all that um, spectacular as we could put it. Um, moving through to the Voyager 3, the Voyager 3 seems like a bigger ship, uh, shield capacity of 1315, um, jump range of 30 light years, 40 C40 reactor, so it sounds like it's going to you know, produce a lot more power, has a crew um, of complement of 6, 720 fuel capacity, 1507 hull and 1580 cargo capacity, so you know, going through that you have a 1694 mass and the width of it is 18 meters the length i'm not too sure but it seems like it's going to be a pretty big ship and again this looks like it's going to possibly specialize in cargo and maybe even being some sort of a smuggler vessel but again there's no real way of telling until we see these ships and get a hold of them and actually build them so it seems like you know these ships are going to be stronger and maybe more versatile in some form of factors apart from each other and I think the ships in this game are going to be a little bit different to like Star Citizen because they just they have their own uniqueness. They have like pretty much modules built onto them that you are creating and these ships that you are coming up with your own like creation. So let us know what you think about this. I'm very interested. Like I think this is going to be pretty cool to see all of this come into the form of a game and you know where people's creativity will really sort of bring this game together hopefully sometime we will see a multiplayer you know sort of um add on to this but i hope you enjoyed let me know what you think about this see you in the verse and at this point in time the 3.2 is in ptu with the whole c so it'll be very interesting to see that i intend to get my hands on and do a little bit of recording i hope you enjoy this bam bam and we'll see you around Bye bye